Hey, how's it going? Hey. Wow. Hey. Oh, and Hugh, you guys joined the credits. Joined at the same time. Awesome. You guys how's doing good? Yeah, we're doing well. How about yeah. you? Yeah, they're doing good. Alrighty. So, hello everyone. This is us hanging out. Um, obviously, can't do it in person, so we are using the power of the internet and technology to communicate. But we're still celebrating our 1,000 subs. Woohoo! Yeah. We had thank like you guys. some. Yeah, thank you guys. Really yeah, for sure. For real. We had a big party plan. We did. But um, it was actually gonna be really awesome. Like, we had like caterers music karaoke i think we had a clown we had a clown, a clown. Kind of crazy. and then like a guy yeah blowing up balloons like twisting yeah. balloons and stuff we had jeff bezos yeah. blowing Painter. up balloons jeff bezos we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna fly dude, all jeff, you guys yeah. all you guys out yeah. there it was gonna be good but sadly but, it was, but we can't can't do that unfortunately so, but, governor's yeah. orders we'll we'll save it for the ten thousand subs so. mm-hmm. ten thousand but yeah, so thank you guys for 1,000 subs. Um, we just thought this would be a good chance to kind of just give you guys an update. We promised an update for a while, so we'll give you guys an update. Just kind of talk about what's going on. You may have noticed the new branding that we have. We've got a new logo and everything. So thanks to Luke for making a pretty sick new logo and everything and freshening up the look. We just thought it was time yeah, to I'm change it up. It. So, yeah. That's good. And we also have a website. Um, it'll be linked below. It's linked on all our socials, but it just kind of talks about our projects, what we've done, and also there is a availability for our flight software template, um, which is essentially just like a really basic introduction um, that kind of lays down the foundation so that if you were doing thrust vector control yourself, it would kind of uh, get you off the ground, pun intended, um, learning the stuff. Uh-huh. Kind of, thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's kind of really basic. It's designed around an Arduino Nano, an MPU 6050, and a BME or BMP 280 or 180. I forget, the, forget which one it is. But it's designed around those, so those seem to be really common um, for people to use. And also, they're pretty cheap. So it's just kind of some foundation, as well as those CAD files that are available. Yeah, so we got all the all the CAD files, as well as the assembly of um, TVCV3 available there. We'll also have some instructions so that you guys know um, what what other parts to buy or um, just find in order to build it or some version of it, uh, whatever you want. Yeah, we'll have so, all the old stuff and the new stuff. Yeah, so basically um, on the website we have a donations page. It's under the please help tab. Um, so basically, it's not required to donate at all, and we're still going to be making content. It just helps us afford it all really um helps us you know pay for some of the components and stuff like that especially as we're looking to build more advanced rockets and trying to really push the boundaries um, it just helps support the project and helps us get content out quicker um, we have also for a very long time been promising an update about our new rocket we yeah. have some details on the website but we're going to give you guys a little bit more on that so from a flight computer and flight software standpoint flight computers like leaps and bounds above what we've done before it's going to have a dedicated gpu not like an nvidia 1080 or anything crazy like that but it's going to have a little dedicated gpu because part of the flight software is going to need to do some graphics intensive processing uh, we won't detail quite what that is just yet but it's going to need to do some some graphical <laughs> rendering and also it's going to need to handle our much more computationally intensive flight um, control. Yeah, um, so Insight will also be featuring a new thrust vectoring gimbal. Uh, this will be using electric linear actuators instead of linear servos, um, which is an interesting choice because I haven't seen anyone else do this yet. Um, so there's definitely some pros, pros and cons to this decision, um, but we've, we've decided to do it because it will both um, be kind of like a demonstration that we can, which is kind of the whole point of this rocket anyway, as well as it will demonstrate that we can upscale the rocket because any any larger rocket will definitely be using actuators as opposed to servos. So um, yeah, definitely we've got some good progress on that going. Uh, yeah, and then for street ejection, we're going to be um, updating that quite a bit. Uh, yeah, so instead of last time we were using like servos uh, to kind of actuate the it's like release springs to allow the chute to come out but this time we're going to change it up a lot it won't be so hard to set up and um won't be so strenuous i guess on the mechanics of it so we're going to have uh electro we're going to we're going to test out some different designs but the one that i'm looking uh forward to the most is uh, electromagnets 
Sweet. Um, the the last big update that Insight will be featuring is uh, what we're going to call a skeletal structure. So we'll basically have some some rods running up lengthway linkways in the rocket, um, and it will allow us to make a, a rocket that we can change configurations on. We can slide components up and down, as well as um, it will provide a light, rigid, uh, sturdy airframe. Um, and so also thanks to the, the good people over at Goodwin's Composites who hooked us up with some some high quality carbon fiber rods or pultrated carbon rods. Yeah, they were super awesome in helping us uh, hook that up and they're washing them based too. So it's kind of cool to see that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're super helpful to support the project. So I think that is all of the updates we have for now. So obviously this is not a, not a traditional style of video, but we we'll just thought it'd be good to release this update. Um, let you guys know what's going on. Let you know that we're still here. Um, say thank you for 1000. Let you guys know about the website and everything that's going on. Uh, we'll be releasing some content soon. Um, the PID video part two will be coming up soon. And then of course we'll be straight to work on Insight C1, um, hopefully getting that launched in the summer when this whole situation blows over. So, but yeah, yeah. So thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, make sure to follow oh, us on all on. the socials. Subscribe because we're trying to hit that 10K. It's going to be good. It's going to be big. With that, I'll pass you over to Hugh. Guys, it's been a wild ride from zero subscribers to 100 subscribers to uh, till now. I, it just it makes me think back. All that long time ago. When I uh, without further ado, uh, rockets out. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank my. Nope, that's it from you, Hugh. My thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. So. All right. Bye. Luke's gone. Luke's, Luke's gone. gone. He's frozen. It's just us. Yeah. All right. All right.